have one thing to say. And that is that I have never been more happy in my entire life to be so wrong. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and you're probably wondering, what in the heck is going on, OG? If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice it's December. December the 3rd, to be precise. And you might also notice that I have almost $300,000. So you're going, what's going on here? The last episode, we were in July. Yes, indeed. So here's the thing, peeps. Here's the thing. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of a break from recording the episodes and give myself some time to build up some money so that we can do a major farm expansion. And so I have, as you can see, almost $300,000 in the upper right hand corner. And I have done four hay cuttings this year on the property i did two hay cuttings with the first um harvest stage and two at the second harvest stage and we have a ton of silage that i've <laughs> it's even fell it fallen over a ton of silage to sell here uh and there's even a little bit of silage over by the original house um and so what we're going to do today, or the main thing we're going to do today, is sell this silage because December this year is the best time to sell silage, according to this. So last time it was January, but now it's December. And the uh, animal dealer, uh, oh, wow, this just changed. Uh, but the price is going down, which kind of sucks. But it looks like the biogas plant now is actually the highest price. The animal dealer was higher last time I checked. Um, so yeah, and we have snow too. Yeah, so fun. So here's the thing. I have, um, I have big plans for this farm. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna expand our operations here, probably in multiple phases. And we're ready for what you might call phase two of our farm here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the produce and sell that, you know, like we always do. But this is going to be the last time, you guys, that we're going to sell the produce from these three greenhouses. Because these three greenhouses are going to go away. Um, and then they will be replaced by something much better. But you're not going to see what that something is until the next episode. I got plans. I got plans, peeps. You're going to love it. Uh, and we are going to start making some profits. Um, so... I've given a lot of thought and, and, and a lot of planning into what's going to happen next, and I'm very excited to present that to you. But that's going to happen in the next episode, because in this episode, we got to sell our silage, sell our produce, and make some money. Now, you might notice that, hey, look, OG now has a telehandler. Yes, I do. And I also have a Brentner trailer, and I also have a, um, a tether. I bought a little tether right back here this thing right here um all of those things came on sale over the past six months and uh I, so i purchased them because well they came on sale and the telehandler I've, I've been wanting to get a telehandler um for a while now and this thing's going to really come in handy for the next phase of our farm expansion and this is also going to have a role in our next farm expansion as well. Now, I know I have the larger trailer, uh, you know, parked in the barn there, but that trailer is honestly too big for what we're going to need to do. Um, and so that's why I bought this trailer because it was on sale. Okay, uh, so let's see here. Uh, now, before we, before we get started loading this produce, I want to show you my ledger just so you can all see it. Um, oh, you know what? That doesn't... That doesn't go... Okay, no, this is good because I left you in July. And so it looks like it only shows the last five months. Is there not any way to go back further than that? I guess not. So it only shows the last five months. Well, that works out because those were the months that I've done off camera. All right, so let's take a look, quick look at this so you can see what happened here. Um, I bought the tether in October and it cost about 6000 bucks. It was, you know, about half price. And I think it's a nine meter tether. I can't remember for sure. 
Uh, so it's like a medium sized tether. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking here. Tethers. Uh, yeah, so this is a nine meter tether. So it's, it's decent size. It's not the biggest, but you know, not the smallest either. So we bought that. Um, and then in, uh, let's see, November, we purchased both the telehandler and the trailer. Telehandler was like something like 58% off or I don't know. It was over, I think it was a little over half price off. And it's about a middle of the line telehandler in terms of horsepower. So this, it, whoop, nope, we're not, don't need the chainsaw. So this is the Claws Scorpion 1033. And if we were to purchase that brand new, it would cost us $101,000. So this is 136 horsepower. Um, yeah, uh, telehandler. And like I said, it's about, about middle of the road. There's a, there's a couple, you know, a few telehandlers that are a little bit more powerful than the one we have, but I think this one will do the trick, uh, for what we need. And we just got a really good deal on it. So I couldn't pass it up. Um, yeah. All right. So we got that going on. And, and again, you're going to see why I got this. You're going to, there's going to be a couple things that we're going to do with this. It's going to be pretty amazing actually when it's all said and done. Uh, all right, well, let's go back to the ledger here. So we did um, contracts. So vehicle running costs, so basically that's all for repairing. Uh, leasing costs has to do with, you know, leasing. Um, well, I ended up having to actually lease a tether in September, mm, September or October. I don't remember one of those, one of those times. Uh, no, September was leasing the hay, uh, the the uh, the auto loader and the the wrapper for my September cutting, and this was a tether I had to rent, and then and then I bought the tether after I had rented that because we need one, and then November's rental costs again were for the hay pickup, but I kept the the hay pickup trailer, the auto pickup trailer for, uh, well I actually still have it because I don't want to turn it back in because we're we were going to need it for December. Um, so yeah, that's what that cost is. Property maintenance is property maintenance, production costs or production costs, sold bales. We, we had a few extra bales from the October contracts that we sold. So we made six grand on that. Uh, this is, these were our greenhouse and egg sales over the last few months. So we had a really good month in November, uh, 13,721 bucks. So yeah, fantastic month there. Uh, those are fuel costs there. And let's see, seed costs. Oh, right. So we had, we actually had a, uh, a seeding contract on a huge field in September. And so that's what that's for, but we made a uh, pretty decent money on it. Then we had a bunch of fertilizer contracts, especially in September. So that's what those costs are for harvest income. We had, um, what did we do? We had a cotton, a couple of cotton harvests. I don't even think I've done cotton on the, on the series yet. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll have another opportunity to do that at some point in the future. So we did have, have a couple of cotton, uh, cotton harvests that came up and we made just a tiny little bit of money on that. But I also did a sugar beet harvest in October on a big field. And I have 16,000 liters of sugar beet sitting in the silo at the train station that we're going to sell uh, to. Okay. So we got that coming up and let's see, this is our contract income. We had a really good uh, month in October, 131, almost $132,000 that we made there. Um, of course, these are the wage payments for the workers. Had them help me a little bit on our own fields in September and November. Uh, miscellaneous is the charges that come out of uh, storing stuff at the train station. And yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we stored. Okay, yeah. So we, we still have some grain at the uh, train station, some barley. Um, and that's what that is. And then we also st are storing sugar peas there now. So that added to that. And there might be, I don't know what the rest of that is, but anyway, that's our money. So you can see that, you know, what money we made and how, how the money all came together over the past few months. The reason we're in the red here is just because we purchased, um, you know, the telehandler and the trailer in November and we worked on our own hay. So we had rental costs. So we didn't really uh, make a lot of money in November. What that means though, of course, is that we are sitting at $288,619 but we've got, you know, our produce to sell, which is probably going to bring in nine to ten thousand dollars, our eggs and stuff. But this is what's really going to bring in the bank, you guys. I, I, I'm expecting probably anywhere between one hundred fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars from all this silage. 
Um, and that's going to you know bring us up to almost five hundred thousand dollars, almost a half a million bucks. And we're going to need it because I have plants. Yes, indeed, I do. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, go into the store and we are going to purchase a couple of things for our telehandler that we're going to need in the upcoming expansion that I have in mind. So we're going to do, um, let me think about this for a second. Let's go to telehandler tools. And I'm going to get uh, this adapter here for $400. What this basically lets me do is use a telehandler with front loader tools. So it's an adapter for that. Okay, so we're going to buy that for $400. Um, but what I'm actually looking for is actually in the front loader tool, or I'm sorry, the wheel loader tool section here. Uh, so what I'm looking for is this, this right here. Okay, um, and the thing about the this fork is you can actually extend it. You can make it a make them long forks, and what that allows me to do is pick up uh, actually up to four pallets at the same time. But we need to tell it that we want the attacher type to be a telehandler type, and that's going to cost us ninety five hundred bucks. But we're going to buy it because again, it's going to come in handy for us later on for what's planned. Uh, the other thing we're going to purchase is in actually front loader tools and that's this guy right here that i got off of the mod hub now what this is supposed to be is this is supposed to be a bag handler but it also works quite well with pallets too as you will see um so what i want to do is i want to actually change this to the cloth green so that it matches our telehandler and then we want to set the attacher type to telescopic loader which means i guess well, I guess we don't even need the adapter for that. All right, it's all right. We'll we'll keep the adapter anyways because we might need it. I didn't even realize I could change that until I just now saw that. Okay, cool. So that gives us these uh, new attachments here. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hop in our shiny new used telehandler. And uh, we're going to use this to load our trailer this time. And I'll kind of demonstrate um both of these tools well this one's pretty the forks are pretty obvious they're just long forks but allows me to pick up multiple pallets at once uh and that's going to be huge uh moving forward here so let's attach that i wonder if the snow's going to be a bit of a pain in our butt here getting these pallets i don't know we'll have to see Um, now I also have to think about, do, 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 do. yeah, okay, here's what we're going to do. The snow is going to make this interesting. Um, here, let's raise that up so we can see the forks for a second. Um, and actually, yeah, you know what? I want to push all these together. I actually do want to do that. Okay. Let's bring these together a little more and bring that down. And can we get in there now? Okay, now, so this is actually pretty cool just by itself, but um, it's going to be even better later on. But I don't want to give anything away because it's going to be a surprise. Well, what we can do here, though, is we can try and get those relatively even. Relatively being the key word here. Okay, now, can I get underneath those? Now, this is tricky with the snow. Cool. All right, so that allows us to pick up four at a time, uh, like this, and then we're going to load them on the trailer. Hopefully they don't... One, one of the things I've noticed, though, is that, you know, we get a little bit of fork drift, like the pallets kind of drift, so hopefully they'll behave long enough to get these on here okay.
Yeah, see that pallet kind of drifting there? There we go. All right, now we might need to um, just give this a little bit of assistance here just because the whole pallet drift thing is a is really a bug if you ask me. It's not, shouldn't happen like that. All right, that's, all right, that's close enough. Oh, actually, well, let me strap that, yeah. Okay, let's strap that like it is. It's not perfect, but it's good. Now, if you're not familiar with the telehandler, what makes this thing really cool is this. You can extend, it's a telescoping thing, and I, I don't actually have it mapped correctly. Uh, Hold on a second. I gotta fix that. Uh, but it's it's just a much more versatile tool than the forklift because of the fact that you can you know uh, telescope the the attachment there. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to front loader, vehicle front loader, and I'm gonna set this to that button and this to this button. Save controls. All right, and now let's save the game so that way that gets saved. There. Now, yeah, see that? I can, like, extend this way out all the way to there. <laughs> of course, you know, weight, weight's going to be a consideration, but it's a it's a really versatile um, machine. And, I've you know, I've, I've seen it used in... Uh, in YouTube videos that I've watched, you know, that I watch on farming simulator stuff, and it's like, man, I gotta get me one of those. And so it came up on the sale, and now we got one. All right, cool. So um, let's go ahead and keep loading this stuff. Realistically, too, I mean, you wouldn't really be able to operate the, the normal forklift in snow this deep, anyways, but this thing doesn't care because it's it's got snow tires, baby. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's come around here. And we're going to load this up. Oh, you know what we need to do first, actually? Is we need to push these together. We're just kind of coming at it from the different side here. I'm going to need to straighten this one. Hopefully that'll work. But yeah, we are um, going to get rid of these greenhouses. This is the last time we will be using them because we got bigger plans coming up. Uh, did I just get like one tine under those? No, I, I guess it's in there. It's just really hard to see. Okay, get in right there. And back her out. Oh, okay, that'll work. You know, it might actually be easier to get these other ones from this side too. Yeah, this is kind of nice to be able to move four pallets at a time instead of, you know, one or two at a time like the normal forklift. The thing is, though, it's like I, I've I've noticed, though, because I kind of practiced with this a little bit on a practice uh, or test save, I guess, is it does seem to have, you know, the pallets seem to drift, so you, you don't want to have to transport the pallets for a long ways because then they, they will start to kind of drift off a little bit. All right, let's just kind of tidy this up a little bit here and then we'll strap her down. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be stable. Beautiful. All right, let's go get the third load.
All right, that takes care of our lettuce. Let's see what the prices are looking like for lettuce and eggs. So looks like Johnson's has the best price on eggs. And what about lettuce? Johnson's, or no, uh, Mama Joe has the best price on lettuce. Okay, so let's uh, deliver this. To Mama Joe first, and then we'll come back and get the eggs. Oh, we'll probably just put those on the back of the pickup truck. We don't need the trailer for those. And then after that, it's going to be time to sell some silage. Gonna get that one. It's a little too far away, I think. There we go. Okay. That takes care of that. And then we'll just park the trailer and take the eggs on the back of the pickup truck. We should probably get OG some warmer clothes too. Poor guy's probably freezing. It's winter time, man. Uh, yeah, let's get his, his jacket on there and we'll put his like little ski pants on. And winter boots. We don't really have winter boots, do we? None of those look like winter boots. Maybe those are winter boots. We'll give them a toque. And some gloves. I think we used these gloves last time for winter for him. There he goes. Okay. There's a little warmer now. Park the pickup truck there. Back in the telehandler. And I'm so glad we have one of these now. Oh, let's uh let's try the other thing. I'll just show you what it does. We have to figure out uh, where we're gonna put all this extra stuff that we just bought. So, this implement is, it's really designed to lift a bunch of bags, but it works with pallets too. And so what you can do, here, let's do, let's do this. Let's move you right next to you. So basically what you do is you just get over the pallets. Like so. And then you are supposed to be able to strap them. I wonder why. Do I have to get a little closer? I mean, it needs to stop. Yeah, there we go. Like that. But the thing is, is you can lift a whole bunch of pallets up all at once, not just two uh, using this. So it's really pretty slick. Drop them right on there. Nice.
Okay, so we'll just put the telehandler here. Nice little machine, man. Very cool. Okay, let's head on up to Johnson's. Actually, let's make sure the prices haven't changed again. Yeah, those are still like they were. Not that it matters now because we've already sold. 1233, 1249, 12, yeah, 1271 at Johnson's. All right, I'll meet you guys at Johnson's and we'll get these eggs sold. All right, 3177, that brings us up to 283,161. Very nice. I'll meet you guys back at the farm. All right, it is time, ladies and gentlemen. To sell some silage. I am really excited to see how much money we're going to make off of all this silage. Uh, we have a, a lot more this year than we had last year. Let's get our tractor warmed up here. Now we have um, we have a full container of round bales. And speaking of which. There was an update to that mod, to this mod where I have the round bale stored. And so I I did the update and now I can actually remove it, which is fantastic because we are in fact going to remove that eventually. I've got plans. Um, and we're gonna replace it with something similar, but even bigger. Uh, but the cool thing is I can now remove it. Nevertheless, we've got a bunch of round bales there. And we also have um, a few round bales over at our original farmhouse, too, where Mama Joe's son lives with his family. Um, but we're going to need to at least get started with the square bales. And that is why I kept this, uh, you know, the auto loader trailer. I I'm really hope this thing comes on sale soon. If it doesn't, we're probably just going to buy it new as soon as we can afford to, to do so. Because I just you know have come to rely on this more and more and uh, it's very expensive to rent so anyway um yeah let's get this thing loaded up and then we'll check the prices again uh, the last time i checked the biogas plant had the best prices but we'll uh you know we'll keep checking it throughout the day to see if anything changes and uh yeah let's make ourselves some moolah
right, guys, the final load. Oh my goodness, this took a long time to do, but man, oh man, look at our money. That is just amazing. So, um, <laughs> 714806 dollars. Um, I uh, have one thing to say, and that is that I have never been more happy in my entire life to be so wrong. <laughs> I grossly underestimated how much money we were going to make on that. Oh my goodness, $435,425, you guys, off of those bales. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is just, I don't know what to say. That's way more money than I thought we were going to get. Um, But we are going to put it to use. Oh, yes, indeed we are. I've got, I've got plans. I told you I got plans. Uh, but you guys don't get to find out what those plans are until the next episode. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. We have never had this much money in this game. Not even close to this much money in this game. Whew. So, you know, one thing I've been thinking as I I thought about as I was doing all this is, um, I might wanna go back to round bales. And only because, for two reasons, really. I mean, I can get 24 bales on this trailer, and I can, only, I can only get 14 on the square, which basically means more trips. The square bales are a little bit larger than the, the let's see, what are they? The 220-centimeter square bales are a little bit larger than the 150-centimeter round bales, but not a ton, actually. Um, they're not that much larger, first of all. Um, and I was getting about $16,000 a load with the square bales, where I'm getting about $25,000 a load with these, uh, with the round bales. So it's just, you know, it's it's less trips when it comes time to sell. A. B. You know, I've got a lease that auto load trailer and the wrapper every time I cut my hay, which is four times a year. And that's, you know, that's a lot of money going going out for those leases so i'm just i'm starting to think maybe for at least for selling bales you know i might want to go back to to just doing the round bales uh, now we're going to keep the square baler because we have it um and we're going to need that for what's coming up anyway so i'm not saying we're getting rid of that and we're not doing square bales anymore i'm just saying for you know when we're doing silage for sale uh it might just make more sense for us to do the round bells for the reasons I just stated. But anyway, wow. Uh, <laughs> I am like so pleased with how much money we made. Oh my goodness. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, so the thing is, is I've got um, you know, I've got a plan for the farm like I've I mentioned a couple times now. And, you know, they're going to have to happen in phases as the money comes in. But with this much money, we, we're going to be able to do more in the next phase than I thought we were going to be able to do. Um, but we're not going to be able to do everything, of course, in the next phase. Not even close. But there's two. There, there's one very specific um setup i guess i'll say that we're that i have planned for the next phase that you're going to find out what that is in the next episode and then there was you know then there was more more that we were going to do and then more after that and then more after that and so on and so forth and some of that more i think we're going to be able to do just because my word we have so much money right now all right so this is great absolutely fantastic Let's um, repair this. Both of my tractors are. Uh, well, that's only 1700s, but the New Holland is, yeah, $9,576. We got to do it. Those tractors did work, and especially the New Holland. So, okay, so that sets us at $703,276. Look at this thing, too, man. <laughs> it's just caked in snow. That is so cool. That's the dirt mod. 
Wow, that's cool. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's get this thing put away, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let you guys go here. I mean, there, uh, I, I decided not to sell the straw and the hay that we have in the barn. We could, we'd make a little money on it. Um, this is actually the best month to sell it, but you know, uh, I just don't think I'm gonna do that right now. We, we're gonna use that. Trust me, we are gonna need it for what's coming. So. Not selling it is not a bad thing. Um, especially since we already have so much money as it is. Uh, I do want everybody to say goodbye to these three greenhouses. They are going away, so goodbye greenhouses. You did good for us. We appreciate the extra income you brought in per month for us. That was great, but uh, we're moving on to, to bigger and better things. Alright, let's park this guy in here. Fantastic, man. Fan, fantastic. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Be sure to not miss the next episode because fun stuff is going to happen. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of role play. Uh, so we're bringing back some role play. I know I haven't done much role play in a long in in quite a while. Um, and we are going to move up in the world. We are going to expand this farm, and we're going to really start to see some money come in, and we got some cool things coming up. And, uh, yeah, so you definitely don't want to miss the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. You don't want to miss it. Trust me. Bye-bye.